Welcome back to The Beard Solution. In today's video, we are going to be looking at L-carnitine L-tartrate as a possible supplement to aid in your beard growth in conjunction with minoxidil. In no way is this video suggesting that L-carnitine L-tartrate alone will grow you a big bushy beard. There is evidence that it may support and assist you in your minoxidil beard journey. First off, I'd like to thank Christoph, one of the moderators at the Minox Beard Spot for helping me research this topic and pull this video together. So what is L-carnitine L-tartrate? According to the NCI's definition, L-carnitine, the biologically active form of carnitine, is a carrier molecule that transports activated long chain fatty acids from the cytosol to the mitochondria where fatty acids are then oxidized resulting in ATP production. L-tartrate, a salt of tartric acid, is a potent antioxidant. ATP does a massive amount of stuff biologically. Too much to go into in this video, but in layman's terms, ATP transports chemical energy from within cells for metabolism. Every cell uses ATP for energy. Please bear in mind, L-carnitine L-tartrate is the focus of this video, so other L-carnitines won't necessarily work in the same way. Why is it potentially good for beard growth? Well, to understand why L-carnitine L-tartrate is potentially good for beard growth, we need to understand something about androgen receptors and their relationship with beard growth. Androgen receptors exist in our cells and allow either of the androgenic hormones, testosterone or dihydrotestosterone, through a binding process in the cytoplasm to translocate into the nucleus. Essentially, it allows your body to utilize male hormones and without androgen receptors, regardless of serum androgen levels, they would be rendered ineffective. The density and sensitivity of your androgen receptors plays an important role in beard growth. Now, dihydrotestosterone, which is the main hormone for facial hair growth, has a greater binding affinity to the androgen receptor than testosterone does. So therefore, having more dense or sensitive androgen receptors would lead to better facial hair growth overall. The androgen receptor gene sits on the X chromosome, which means biological males will inherit their androgen sensitivity from their mother's side of the family. And whilst this is only one gene related to secondary sex characteristics such as the beard, it is in my opinion a pretty important one. Well, let's get back to the topic in hand, L-carnitine L-tartrate. A study by William Kramer et al. in 2006 found that L-carnitine L-tartrate supplementation upregulated androgen receptor content, effectively increasing the androgen receptor density, meaning that your cells can utilize more androgens. Whilst this study was based on muscle cells, we know that hair follicle cells also have androgen receptors, so we can therefore assume that it could potentially be used to increase the androgen receptor content in our facial hair follicles and thus increase the likelihood of the follicle producing a terminal hair. Now this increase in androgen receptor density may cause concern for those who fear balding, but whilst it might seem counterintuitive, L-carnitine L-tartrate has been shown to stimulate hair growth in two studies, both of which were conducted by Kirsten Feutzik et al in 2007. The first study was in vitro and found that L-carnitine L-tartrate stimulates human scalp hair growth. Despite the likelihood of direct effects of L-carnitine L-tartrate on the anagen hair bulb, it is conceivable that upon topical application, additional indirect mechanisms of L-carnitine L-tartrate action, including vasodilation and improved oxygen supply, could come into play to explain the hair growth promoting effects observed in our observational study. The study went on to state, it is reasonable to expect that both systemic and topical modes of L-carnitine L-tartrate application may promote human scalp hair growth, especially when used as an adjuvant regimen to established hair growth promoting agents such as minoxidil. This study was followed up the same year, this time with a topical application on living humans, which found that a 2% concentrated topical serum over a six month period significantly increased active scalp hair follicles in the test group and actually down-regulated telogen follicles. What's quite promising for facial hair growth is that the hair growth shown in these studies, whilst being on the scalp, was not achieved through anti-androgenic activity. Whilst it's true that L-carnitine's precursor L-liacine is often marketed as a DHT blocker, this is not the case. Whilst it can support DHT blocker effectiveness, L-liacine itself, like L-carnitine, is not anti-androgenic and you should disregard those claiming anti-androgenic effects until studies prove it to be the case. The L-carnitine L-tartrate studies for scalp hair regrowth seem to suggest several mechanisms, such as NO production and vasodilation, both of which are identical to known minoxidil mechanisms for growth. How to administer L-carnitine L-tartrate. 
There is not currently a topical version that I can find on the market. However, there are several supplement sites such as bulk powders which do sell the oral pill of L-carnitine, L-tartrate. Now, you might find other carnitines out there in topical form, but that is not necessarily the same as L-carnitine, L-tartrate. You need to make sure that you get the exactly correct version of this particular carnitine in order to try and replicate what was found in the studies. However, do not lose hope just yet for a topical solution. After speaking with Christoph, who's been in touch with one of his chemist friends, we found that since L-carnitine L-tartrate is soluble in alcohol, adding L-carnitine L-tartrate powder to minoxidil could be an option. However, you're probably better to actually add it to something like a fresh tub of Nivea Soft at a 2% concentration. This will cause the water to separate and you will need to remix the moisturizer by hand. The water separation is perfectly normal. Due to the small alcohol content in the moisturizer, the fatty acids actually become active, which is great for your skin. I will actually make a video demonstrating this in the near future. So there you have it, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time.